got a one, a two, a three, and a hey no metal mic coming at you. Guess what? It is June 5th, and I had to shoot a video called, what are we going to call it? Bread and butter. And what the hell does bread and butter you mean? Uh, everyone has, has heard this term before, right? That's our bread and butter, that, 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 uh, that uh, sandwich there. That's what makes us our money. Well, bread and butter in the junk and picnic picking field is huge. Let's see if I can get off to a good roll here. And what is and why is that bread and butter? Well, my stepfather taught me that term all the time. Now, Marty, he always dealt in everything from pure junk to household goods to whatever he could sell to make a buck. And uh, he called bread and butter was he would always sell mattresses on the side. It wasn't always the antiques and the vintage items. Well, that kind of can cross over into every level. Now, if you're a picker or a junker, there's obviously items you're going to come across that are not big money tickets. It's not the holy grail that we're all searching for as far as picking and trying to find that great item, that old motorcycle, etc. But just simply keeping you going. And what does that mean? Gas in the car. Keeping uh, money in the pocket so that when you do find something, you have a little money to spend at a garage sale. So, this piece is a great example of bread and butter. Now, last week, and I, anyone can do this, trash day. You go out the night before or on a Monday. Monday morning is the best. If you have a great sunny weekend, people get a hair up their ass to throw everything out. So what you want to do is hit it hard on a Monday morning or simply the day or night before trash. Go out, cruise the neighborhoods. You don't have to be too crazy about it. Just go down the streets where they put the cans on the curb. And if it's next to the, the trash, it's as good as yours. And if it's questionable, go knock on the door. You'd be surprised. A little bit more peaceful, too, on the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the nerves. If you want to do it that way, I'd probably suggest that is the easiest. But basically, if it's by the trash can, more than likely. And that's where this piece comes into play. This is just simply an old sewing machine. Uh, back in the day, I used to hate these, but I grabbed this one the other day. Now, I just got done putting a little elbow grease into it. What does that mean? I just rubbed it down a little bit with some uh, furniture polish. Now, it's not that old. Maybe it's a 1950s, 60s model. So we've put a little work into it by rubbing it down. It's on Craigslist for 25 bucks. Just personal property selling at a loss, what we call it, right? Because obviously it's worth more than 25 bucks. But here, let's just open it up and show you exactly what we're talking about. Now remember, in this field, not everything is exciting. And like I said, you want to just be able to have money flowing for the next garage sale. Now, if I can get this, these cords all untangled here, this is my fault. I did this the other day thinking this was a good way to uh, wrap the cords. I wish I had left them alone. Now I'm just tangling with them. It's a tangle fuck. I should have left them just hanging out the bottom like they're supposed to. Whoops. Now that's reality. Okay, and then this spool fell off. So that's going to go down. And around, everything's always got to be more complicated than it should be, right? Instead of shooting you a video, what do I end up doing? I'm getting yarn out. And the people are here. So we're going to cut this video. It's a white model. 25 bucks. Hey now.